Morning, everybody. Welcome to this session of Business Bite Size. And today I thought I'd talk about delegation and uh, lack of time. So one of the things I, I hear a lot when I start working with people, and even when I've been working with them for a while, to be fair, is um, this challenge that uh, we're, we've all shorter time to do the things that we need to do. And I talked previously about actually there's things in our lives we're doing that we need to stop doing. And there's things that we can delegate or should think about delegating. <clears throat> so um, delegation, uh, what stops people from delegating tasks to other people? Well, I think there's a, there's a number of issues. I think it starts with us, of course. And I think uh, one of the things that stops us is actually uh, the concern about what we're going to do next. So um, we don't actually want to make ourselves redundant by giving away all our tasks to other people. But the reality, of course, is we know that there's lots of things, particularly on the strategic side, that aren't getting done. So we need to free up that time for us to do things that are more strategic. I think there's also a comfort zone issue here. So we continue to do things that actually we're comfortable doing and quite enjoy doing, um, taking on new tasks, things perhaps we, we've got less experience in or, or don't do as often um, is more uncomfortable and more challenging. Um, but those as leaders, those are the things that we need to try and embrace. I think there's a, there's a couple of reasons there. So what's the simple process to do with this? Well, the first thing is to go through the tasks, the things that you do and identify those things that could be delegated. The second thing, of course, is to work out who you're going to delegate those things to. And then you might get into a bit of a cascade because that person will undoubtedly already be busy. So if you're going to delegate some of your tasks to them, you may need to start thinking about tasks that they would need to delegate down to the rest of their team. And then uh, thirdly, I think you have to think about the barriers. What, what, what is going to stop you from delegating tasks? And I think that, that comes down to a couple of things in my experience. So one of those things is um, we have a lack of trust in the competence and ability of the people around us that we want to delegate work to. So that might be something that we need to work on. That might be that we need to build that capability of those people. So there may need to be some training or development of those individuals before they're ready for us to delegate the task. Well, that's fine, that's just a timing matter. And the other one is, is back to the time issues. I've heard this so often. People say, well, it's quicker for me to do it myself than it is to explain it to somebody else. And the response to that, of course, is, well, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life then, because if you don't uh, make that step to develop other people's skills to do the work that you're doing, you will be doing it for the rest of your life. And if you want to grow your business, the reality is that you need to grow your team and you need to grow your own abilities um, because those things will grow the business. So back to my original point, you need to think about the things that um, perhaps you find a bit challenging, perhaps things that make you uncomfortable. Maybe they're the things that you're avoiding doing um, because you're choosing to do the things that you find relatively easy and relatively comfortable. Some of those things are incredibly important and need to get done for the business to grow. But I'd encourage you all regularly to sit down at least once a year, probably more often than that, just to think about the tasks that you need to delegate, how you need to develop the team to take those tasks on and what new tasks you're going to be taking on to fill your time. Thank you.